I'm Sarai. I struggle a lot with depression. I'm diagnosed with it and it was really hard to manage through life. And around this time, I also used to bartend. Sooner or later, alcohol just started being my comfort. I was just working so much that I started feeling burnout. And my burnout was triggering a lot of my depression. The lies that I heard a lot was that I wasn't lovable. And just believing that, that if people are gonna leave my life, then what's the point of having people? Entering church, part of it was in the back of my mind, maybe people will leave me again. But I'm very grateful that it was proven wrong. I was just surrounded with supportive people that wanted to know me. I didn't feel judged. No one questioned who I was when I entered. It just felt natural. I think there's always part of me every time that I'm just like, what if I make myself look like a fool? But I think those are moments in our minds that just keep us from reaching out and keeps us from connecting with people. But after leaving college of ministry, it was that next step of where to go after. And luckily, Celebrate Recovery was something that popped out. My Celebrate Recovery family. I know when life gets hard, I can go to them. When my depression kicks in, uh, they know. They know that I can't hide it and that they can just comfort me. If I just need to cry, if there's actually things that I need to say, they will hear me. I feel seen, I feel heard. I'm not used to having, me, having people be proud of me for things. And, and I see where I am now and celebrate recovery is like, I have my people. God placed the right people at the right time when I needed people. And I'm just so grateful to be where I am now and having my community just cheering me on through my highs and being there through my lows. And I know in my recovery journey, in my life in general, that I don't have to deal with this all by myself.